Greetings, friends and fellow cigar bars, guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here sporting the brand new commemorative 2024 Southwest Cigar Boss Guitar Festival coming soon to a vineyard near you, uh, courtesy of the San Isidori Vineyards. All that information will be in the video description below. September 20th and 21st, man. That's going to be going to be loads of fun. Um, this edition episode of the Builders Challenge is brought to you courtesy Caden Finch of CF Cigar Box Guitars. All of his information is in the video description below. I actually saw this guitar on the interwebs before, before I even knew it was on its way to me. And um, this is a beautiful looking guitar. Caden plate. Uh, this is number 12. This is number 12. And he did a sound sample on his channel. Oh, stay. Come on. It won't stay. Stay. Okay, it's going to want to fall. Just let it fall. Somebody else sent me these things here. And I think these are also ways to open boxes and not worry about slitting your slit yourself. So we got this guy here, which is taboo. We're not using this anymore. Um, and we've also been using this guy here because it's got a handle and a and you can break those things off and use different. When they get dull, you just take off the next one to go. So these are actually pretty good. These are pretty good. This is a gift. This was a gift as this was here. This is a gift too. I've never seen these before. Have you guys seen these things here? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's spring loaded. Look at that. <laughs> That's safe. That's absolutely safe. Okay, so we're gonna open this box safely. Dude, that sucker's sharp. Uh, ow. Bing, bada, boom. All right. Call it in the air. Heads I win, tails you lose. Heads I win. Guys, I want to thank all of you guys for participating in these builders challenges. You, you guys, you, seriously, you guys, you guys are stepping up number one, making this so much fun. Seriously, it's so much fun for me to unpack somebody else's gu guitar, tune it up, tear it up. I'm gonna read this here first. Ta-da! These colors are so awesome. Okay, this is a uh, this is a hardcore paint job, dude. Oh my gosh, this is guys. This is what I call artistic perfection here. This is rough where it needs to be rough, um, imperfect where it needs to be imperfect, but uncommonly. Perfect. Look at that. So here's your dots on the top. And, and if you feel it, man, it's nice and smooth, man. So, so there's, a, there's a nice buff on here. Um, yeah, he, he goes into detail. Caden goes into detail on how he got, how he achieved this paint, this uh, effort or this uh, effect. Uh, I like the way the frets board comes over the, the top here. Corners. Sound hole. Yeah, the, and it plus it the, the matches the box, right? I mean, the color of the box really lends itself to the. Uh, see how see how these these oh look at even the saddle, even the saddle, and look how it's got a little notch in there, hinge, strap button, jack, and you can see all these colors on the inside here. I guess that is, uh, I've never seen a box like this. I've never seen a box like this. It looks like a box within a box, doesn't it? Hmm, interesting, okay. Okay, you guys are taking notes, right? Look at the back side here. Number 12. Guys, this guitar looks so good. Check out that big old scratch. 
all sorts of scratches. <laughs> Dude, those, some of those scratches are what make it invaluable, right? I got some scratches on my guitars that it's just like, man, each, each scratch tells a story. Um, okay, let's, let's, read, let's read the note here. And then we'll uh, plug it, we'll, we'll play it, we'll tune it up, and then we'll do a little jam jam. Hello, Dell. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to review my guitar, my cigar box guitar. This is my 12th cigar box guitar build. There are, here are the specs for this guitar. The body is made from a CAO or a CHIO, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, BX3 cigar box. And the neck is made from red oak. It is an acoustic electric with a I can't read that word. Disc piezo, single maybe? Disc piezo pickup, and I have it tuned EBE. The cigar box was pretty beat up when I got the box. There was a big noticeable scratch on the back, so I decided to lean into that feature, scuffed up the box even more, uh, and neck to give it that road-worn vibe. The neck is painted to match the box using a variety of different paint spray paints. Also, it is a floating bridge, also painted to match. Again, thank you for taking the time to review my CBG and for an, the mate, for all the amazing videos you do. I know I would not be half as good without your videos for guidance, and I'm sure many others feel the same. Enjoy. God bless. Kaylin Finch. Oh, that. Oh, here's, here's the Instagram. See... CF Cigar Box Guitars Instagram, YouTube CF Cigar Box Guitars, and email CF Cigar Box Guitars at gmail.com. This font right here in your handwriting, dude, is as creative as your guitar is, dude. You have impe impeccable font. Way better than Pucket Font. Dude, Caden, seriously. Awesome, awesome, awesome job. Let me uh, see if I got a pick here. I do, I do, I do. Ta-da! Got the uh, Pucket Cigar Box John 316ers here. These are, these are always fun. Wow! Very loud. Projects. And it's solid. You can tell an instrument right off the bat when you pick it up. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, there's no wiggle in the neck. Um, the box is, is you know, definitely solid. There's, it's a tight, tight fit. And the sustain. Listen. That kind of sustain only comes from a solid box. angle necessarily to speak of um, but, but the action is high enough which means the notch is deep enough to get this quarter inch above and then actions actions a little high so um, what I would probably incorporate into my build is a slight back angle and that would allow you to have high action here and this action here to be nice and tight it'd be it'd be down about right about there um, yeah, all, what that does is when you have lower action, it, gives, it makes makes you forces you into making sure all of your frets are good and your neck is straight and perfect and uh, nut height and all that stuff. I mean, there's a lot to it. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, is that a criticism? No, it's just a. Uh, it would take me a little little getting used to just with this this higher action right here. I wouldn't be able to wiggle and jiggle. Um, but but this, like I said, this is more of an acoustic. 
So I'd be I'd be gravitating to to the chords. You know? <laughs> Intonation's good. Intonation's good. Good. A little sharp. Yeah, sharp, sharp, sharp. Okay, so that means if it's sharp, move it back. A tiny little wee bit, eh? Yeah, I moved it actually quite a bit. Sorry, let's see here. Still too high. too high, just a little bit high. This is the uh, 17th fret. Okay, I ended up having to move this guy back um, about three-eighths of an inch to get this harmonic to line up here, so... Okay, we're gonna tune it up again. These tuners are nice tuners. They're the they're upgraded tuners. So again, it makes makes for the guitar to be nice and tight, man. Which is such a pleasure to play, man. like to double check my intonation way up here in the high press. All right, I'm going to leave you with a little... Oh, yeah, yeah, we want to plug it in. What am I saying? What am I saying? Don't go anywhere. Rolling. Certainly, certainly, certainly. Man, this will be a fun guitar, yeah. Thank you. 
very inspiring instrument. My gosh. Yeah, like I said, I, I would try to lower the action just to hit, just a hint right here, just to make it a little easier to play up in this higher register. Maybe I could try filing down the, the bottom of this thing or just lower it a little bit. Um, yeah, I'd be curious to take this thing apart just to see what the heck is on the inside here. It's like an Oreo cookie, right, with all that uh, flavor on the inside there. Caden, dude, uh, awesome, man. Awesome. Guys, if you want to be part of this uh, Builder's Challenge, um, I will put my information in the video description. You can um, uh, send me your guitar, and uh, I'll, I'll open it up on 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 camera in front of everybody. Uh, seriously, tell tell us tell everybody what you guys think of this of Caden's guitar, and uh, by all means, go to his channel, subscribe to his channel, and you will not be disappointed. My gosh. Um, even the video production over at Caden's channel is amazing. That's it, guys, for this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. I will also put a playlist together of all the Builders Challenges um, videos in one playlist. So you can just go and kind of see all the all the different builders in, in, a, in a comprehensive playlist. And, and as I make these videos, I'll continue to add them to the playlist. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget, Southwest Cigar Box Guitar Festival. Oops, it's all broke. So Southwest Cigar Box Guitar Festival. Greetings friends and fellow Cigar Box Guitar Enthusiasts. Del Puckett here with one of the Builder's Challenge videos. This one was submitted by Steve Girardi from Steve Strings. Well, yeah, like I said, we are going to pay this forward. So we're gonna go inside the church here. And we're gonna find somebody, um, some young, youngster deserving who would might appreciate this. So let's, let's Nice shadow. Hey, Bobby. Mr. Dell. Morning, y'all. Oh, wow, what's that there? Uh, you lost part of your guitar. It's a toy. Oh, how neat. Is Josh here? Uh, yeah, he's in there by the pine oh. arrow. It's all yours, dude. Really? Yeah. Really? Play us a song, dude. That's a tin pan, tin can, banjo, canjo. This is cool. Isn't that cool? Watch, give it, give it a strum. There you go. This is really cool. Thank you, Del. Yeah, no problem, man.